Hey everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Channel 64. We're in my storage room, which you saw a time lapse of. I like it. I like it a lot. It definitely feels homey. Uh, I wasn't sure what to do up top. Honestly, I was going to use some bright colors, but kind of decided against it because it's such a small area. And the difference in colors, like think about that, that's two blocks. Doing some random bright color here makes no sense at like this angle. It would just be off-putting. And I really wanted to keep this window open. So blending in here was going to be weird. But I think I came up with a pretty good way to do it. Uh, there's still some more decoration stuff I want to do here, like one of those big pots right here with some flowers on top of it stuff. But I think I think this is pretty good. Uh, the next section I want to work on is here. And then this area is what I'm dubbing the workshop. I don't know how much of this we'll get to today because I don't want to spend my entire episode on the interior, but I definitely have an idea for this. So I'm going to go here first. And with that, we have our little smelter area. I am extremely happy with this. I think it came out pretty well. Uh, we had six smelters, a smoker, uh, composter. It, it, it looks pretty good. I've decided I'm going to go with lava buckets, which means I'm going to need to get some pointy dripstone because the only three I had are used in our starter house. So we're going to need some more, at least seven more to, to do all of this. Um, I've got some decorations and stuff. Uh, Arrington gave me a f gave me a few heads so I could fill some stuff in. And then when I finished with that, I was like, you know what? Let's keep going. <laughs> so I've done some more. Uh, this area is going to be called the workshop. It's just where I have some of the, uh, the, the tables I didn't have room for really like over there and stuff. I, I really like this little area. I think it fits in pretty nice. Uh, we've got some more storage. I did a little like, um, you know, wood carving for the wall to fill in right there. And then if we go upstairs, just a little, little sleeping area up here. Pretty happy with everything. Really enjoying how the internals of the house came out. I have added, it, it's literally just a way down for here. So I've thought I might put the uh, the lava farm down here. Uh, that way it gives me access and everything real easy. But I've, I've been thinking on what to do outside. This is where I want to spend most of the time this episode. And honestly, I'm struggling. So let's go to free cam real quick. And the whole problem is this hill. <laughs> I really probably should have lowered it more. I already, I already took it down. I think it was five layers. I probably should have taken it down to at least like right here or even right here. And it's just really tall. Not so much a problem right here, but when you get to the sides and stuff, you, you really get these sharp cliff faces. Oh, and I've also started chopping down trees going this direction. Uh, but yeah, you get these really sharp hills. And that's going to be a problem later because I don't I don't want the house just sitting up higher than everything. So I've been trying to come up with ways to like maybe I build a grass platform uh, in this area that sits it a good bit off the ground and then maybe build another platform in this area. That's just a little bit lower than this middle platform and a lot lower than this one. So I'm kind of staircasing everything down. But I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. And what I really need to do is just go ahead and try it. So I think I'm going to do an outline of some some staircase platforms and see how that is. And then we'll come back. OK, so I've done a little bit of the platforming, a uh, little bit of terraforming also. So we can see here I've extended the hill upward. Oh, there's a patrol going on. I've got this platform down here. Let's free cam a bit. It's always easier to free cam to show this kind of stuff. So you can see the the layers. Now I get this. This is ugly. Uh, I know. Uh, just I'm going to ask you guys to trust the process. And as we do the area surrounding it, it will get detailed. 
it will get finished up and all that. But for this episode, I want to really focus on the top, maybe a little bit down here. But this was really just to kind of give you an idea of what I was thinking. But yeah, th the area up here is not very good. There's a lot of jagged, wavy areas. You can see I kind of left this opening here. Um, I, I, I want to leave a way down. I think this cave is really cool. And I believe, what is, it, is it this this one? No, there's another cave around here that I've left open to, yeah, right here. <laughs> so there's this one also. I, I kind of want to work in those, maybe make them into like canals and stuff. I still need to uh, cut down all these trees back here. You can see I've done a little bit more over here. I did like from here to here. So I need to go from like here all the way back over there and that'll make life a lot easier because putting up this sidewall, I about got creepered a couple times. But I wanna focus up here, especially like this area. I would like to continue the melons and maybe make like a melon patch on this side and maybe use the patch as a way to set my palette for this upper section. Okay, I wanted to come back real quick. I know this episode it feels like it's it's taking a while, very little process or progress, but everything I'm doing is actually taking a good bit of time. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I've figured out the pathways I want in here. I've added this little wall and I'm not sure how I like it. I actually am liking the deep slate more than I am this which which kind of stinks because this was this was a lot of stone it was like a shulker box full of stone but i we can we can decide the colors and stuff later i just really wanted to show the fact that i've got a pathway this has been smoothed out and graded a little bit and uh this has been graded pretty well i also have another one of those small walls over here but yeah, I'm gonna work on the uh, melon patch. <laughs> I keep wanting to say pumpkin patch, but yeah, we're in a jungle. There were melons here, so we're gonna keep with the melons. pumpkin patch that's really a melon patch uh it turned out really really well i i'm really happy with it especially considering i just kind of winged it uh it really really looks good i'm glad i was able to keep a part of the original island here remember we had some pumpkins in this area so it looks i say remember it was like three minutes for you guys this has been like four days later for me um I had some stuff I came on, so I, I've been off and on. But yeah, I worked on this for a night. Uh, I've also worked on in front of the wall over here. So we've got some more landscaping and stuff. Landscaping is the hardest thing for me. That's why I'm always building inside mountains and caves and stuff. Because I don't think I can landscape that good. So I just don't want to do it. But this is turning out really well. Let's throw ourselves into free cam. And you can see we've got some stuff going on. I was able to throw a couple vanilla trees in, which I definitely think helps break it up because originally I just had these little small trees and I felt like we need a little bit of height. So this tree right here is pretty good. We'll probably have another one towards the back. Um, so yeah, I right now I've just kind of been working on this other side. I don't know what to put over here. Like, I was thinking about maybe doing some of our lava farms, like the dripstone lava stuff. And uh, the only worry is I would hate having to come outside to constantly get that. Like, I would like it to be, I don't know, maybe in the basement or something. But at the same time, like, 
what else am I going to put here? I, I kind of like the idea of it being here because we have this huge lava lake underneath here. So it kind of makes sense to put the lava farm over here. So I'm, I, I might try to go ahead and do that. You know what? It kind of makes sense. We can put it uh, right here and then on the other side of the path, maybe do some wheat because that's the other thing I've been needing. I've been needing wheat for the packed mud. So having a wheat farm might be a good thing. So we could probably fill this area up here with wheat and I call it good. Hmm. Now the backside, I definitely have no clue what I'm going to do on the backside. I think I'm just going to kind of tidy it up through here and allow what I want to do back here to determine that. I definitely want to kind of, it's, my only problem is I don't think this, all this work is going to turn into a good thumbnail. <laughs> so we're just going to go, we're going to work on projects that fit and not worry about the thumbnail. But yeah, so I'm going to come up with a little bit. How many furnaces? I have seven furnaces, right? I need to fuel those. So we'll probably have seven pointed dripstone. I don't have pointed dripstone. No. Okay, I found some pointy dripstone and got to work. The, the dripstone was actually pretty easy to find. It, it, it literally was sitting at the surface of a cave not too far from here. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't bother recording it because it was such an easy trip. But, looky here. Yeah, check it out. We, we've got our lava farm. I have, I put iron trap doors down here as a way to make it like look like it's draining down in here. I thought you'd be able to see more underneath here, but you can't. Uh, this is still here. I actually had to use some of the lava here to, to prime the farm. So that's kind of a cool thing. And matter of fact, our first seven buckets. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I've just kept that words kept the path going through here it does end over there we've got our wheat uh, fields looking pretty nice i kind of want to maybe mix it up with some like carrots and potatoes at some point is that is a sheep yes yeah, sheep and uh it might go from there when i have or when i feel like i have enough wheat uh, i've just kind of attached the lava farm um to the house, I think it did a a pretty good, um, a pretty good job of connecting and looking natural. This kind of little straight edge is a little funky, but I I really like this. This turned out really well. And then we've just done our overgrown thing, added a couple more little trees here and there, and this project, this whole area up top, has turned out really really good. I'm extremely happy with it. Landscaping so hard, like I said early in this episode. I, it's just something I struggle with. And the fact that this has turned out as well as it has, has is definitely given me a confidence boost. Uh, finally, one little thing I've also done. We need to go into freaking look. This was all stairs at this ridge line. And honestly, I, I don't I didn't like it. It was messy and contrived, and I feel this looks a lot better. So it's stairs for the first block of the peak, and then it slabs, and then we have these little uh, nubs, as I call it, whenever we have connection points. And I think that looks a lot cleaner, a lot better. So I went with that, but yeah, super excited. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is set up a mining area because I I do not have a lot of diamonds. And uh, with these smithing templates and stuff, it's going to take a good bit of diamonds. And I thought the best place to put the entrance to a mine might be in this jungle temple. So I know someone has already been through here and raided it, but I figured we can go down and kind of get um the lay of the land and pick out a spot that might be a good way to go down what the heck is that
It's so pointy!